Uh, there's lots of stereotypes about being Spanish as well. Uh, one of them is that we're very good in bed and we have big penises, all right? <laughs> Buenas tardes, hello. hello! How are you doing? My name is Ignacio Lopez. Uh, some of you, all right, might recognize me as the barman you slept with in Magaluf last summer. <laughs> A few familiar faces, good to see you all again. Uh, I have come here today from Cardiff, but I'm originally from Mallorca. Do we know Mallorca? It's great, right? I tell my Welsh friends I grew up in Mallorca. They are amazed by this, okay? It blows their minds. They say things to me like, oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> you grew up on holiday. <laughs> like, I didn't grow up on holiday, you stupid bastards, all right? <laughs> Just because you guys go on holiday to Mallorca, it doesn't mean it's just a holiday destination, okay? Like, we have lives over there. We, we raise families, we have jobs. I didn't go to all-inclusive primary school. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about stereotypes. Do we, how do we feel about stereotypes? They get used a lot in comedy, right? Uh, I like to play around with stereotypes, but my rule is don't judge a book by its cover. Uh, but unfortunately, stuff sticks with us from when we're kids, all right? For instance, uh, I grew up in Mallorca, so now, today, as an adult, if I saw somebody wearing Union Jack shorts, all right? Yeah, if I saw somebody wearing Union Jack shorts, I'd be like, <laughs> bloody racist. <laughs> it's the first thought that pops into my head, and that's not fair, is it? Shorts don't make you racist, all right? A flag is not inherently racist. But because I grew up in Mallorca, people wearing Union Jack shorts would usually do some racist stuff. If I see a toddler wearing Union Jack shorts, I'm like, kick him in the face a little, racist. <laughs> what the heck's he thinking over here, all right? Don't care if it is the coronation. Get in the seat, George. What's happening? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, there's lots of stereotypes about being Spanish as well. Uh, one of them is that we're very good in bed and we have big penises, all right? <laughs> no, I know, right? Like, people just expect you to be like a waiter, have a mustache, and be very good in bed and have big penises if you're Spanish, right? <laughs> now, like I said, don't judge a book by its cover. If I'm being honest with you, me personally, my penis, it is... It's about this far away from my knee, okay, folks? Just, <laughs> just a regular size penis, right? Nothing special. Somebody nudging their partner, they're like, you'd lie to me, all right? It's weird, though. I've had this mustache since I was six years of age. <laughs> Every kid in Spain gets one pre-puberty, all right? That's just pops out of your face. Hola, that's my face for the rest of my life. Like, the only thing I could dress up as for Halloween was Gomez Adams. <laughs> or depending on how much Halloween candy I'd eat, and Pablo Escobar, okay? Sometimes I was out there with a bit of a pot belly, uh, selling sherbet to all the other kids, making the most of it. So I was down in, uh, it's done in Brighton recently. Do we all know Brighton? I love Brighton, guys. I was doing a show there during the Pride Festival. Um, and Brighton's a cool place. I mean, it's a terrible beach, all right? It's not a beach, it's, it's cat litter, okay? Get over yourselves, Brighton. <laughs> if you guys don't know Brighton, uh, imagine Blackpool was colonized by vegans, okay? That is what Brighton <laughs> is. And I was down there during the Pride Festival, and as I'm walking to a, a gig I'm performing at, as I'm walking to the gig, I saw a building covered with flags, all right? It's got flags all over it. There was a rainbow flag, followed by a union flag, followed by a rainbow flag, followed by a union flag. And I saw it, and I was like, oh, no. Gay racists. <laughs> they got to them as well, I thought to myself. I thought they were cool, tolerant people. It turns out they're all Klansmen, right? Well, they are. They're all members of the gay, gay, gay. I was not expecting it. <laughs> Folks, you've been cool. I thought I would surprise you. I've, got a, I've written a comedy song, right? I've written a song about what it feels like to be the outsider. I'm not usually a musical comedian, uh, but I'm excellent at everything, all right? Because <laughs> I don't know what it was like growing up for the rest of you, right? Like, uh, I, I've always been a bit of an outsider in Spain and in Wales. Let's find out, actually. Give me a cheer if you were ever picked on in school. Bloody nerds. Okay, we're gonna do this. <laughs> I'm joking, right? I had a difficult time. I was picked on in Spain uh, because I wasn't Spanish enough to be Spanish. I was picked on in Wales. I wasn't Welsh enough to be Welsh. I wrote a song about it. Uh, anyone who's had a hard time growing up, I think you're gonna relate to it. Here we go. Do you know how hard it is being this good looking? Do you know how hard it is being this good looking? <laughs> Went out for a walk on a rainy day, caught my reflection in a puddle and I nearly turned gay. Do you know how hard it is being this good looking? Uh, that's the whole song. Did you enjoy that? It was silly, wasn't it? A bit dumb. <laughs> Folks, I've been Ignacio Lopez. Muchas gracias. Dios from Thank you. Take care. Ciao. Adios. <laughs>